please click on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel then click on the bell icon for notifications Temi Tope Balogun Joshua, popularly known as Prophet TB Joshua, was a Nigerian charismatic pastor, tele evangelist, and philanthropist. He was the leader and founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, a Christian mega church that runs the Emmanuel TV television station from Lagos. He was born on 12 June. 1963 in Ondo State in the southwestern part of Nigeria and died on 5th June 2021 in Lagos, Nigeria, few days to his 58th birthday. TB Joshua was widely known across Africa and Latin America and had a large social media presence with over 6 million fans on Facebook. His YouTube channel, Emmanuel TV, had over 1 million subscribers and was the most viewed Christian ministry on the platform before the channel was suspended by YouTube in 2021 for alleged homophobic hate speech. TB Joshua has been described by media athletes as the opera of evangelism and the YouTube most popular pastor. T.B. Joshua was awarded various accolades, notably receiving the Officer of the Order of the Federal Republic OFRO by the Nigerian government in 2008 and being voted the Yoruba Man of the Decade by Pan-Yoruba media athlete Irohin Odua. He was called one of Africa's 50 most influential people by Pan-African Magazine and New African Magazine. As of 2011, according to Forbes, T.B. Joshua was Nigeria's third richest pastor, although the claim was immediately denied in a statement by the church. He was a controversial figure and was officially blacklisted by the government of Cameroon in 2010. He was officially listed by Time magazine as one of the top 10 most richest pastors in the world with an estimated net worth of 25 million dollars in 1990 tb joshua got married to evelyn joshua and the marriage is blessed with two children namely sarah and promised joshua according to tb joshua he spent 15 months in his mother's womb and narrowly avoided death after a quiet explosion near his house sent rocks through its roof just seven days after his birth. According to his followers, a prophecy about the birth of a man of God from a poor neighborhood of Oshun in Arigidi, Akoko, given 100 years earlier, applied to T.B. Joshua. T.B. Joshua, then known as Balogun Francis, attended St. Stephen's Anglican Primary School in Aregidi, Akoko, Nigeria between 1971 and 1977 but failed to complete one year of secondary school education. In school, he was known as small pastor because of his love for the Bible. He worked in various casual jobs after his schooling has ended including carrying chicken waste at a poultry farm. He organized Bible studies for local children and attended evening schools during this period. T.B. Joshua attempted to join the Nigerian military but was thwarted due to a train breakdown that left him stranded and rode to the military academy. Unfortunately, he died on 5th June 2021 in his house in Lagos shortly after Saturday's night teaching. Synagogue Church of All Nations claimed that T.B. Joshua has successfully predicted events in the lives of individuals who attend his church services as well as worldwide events, including a prophecy of Michael Jackson dead 
and the outcome of two African Cups of Nations final matches, which were won by Zambia and Nigeria respectively. He has been voted by the public among the most famous prophets in the world. His prophecy about the impending death of an African president was widely reported in African press. T.B. Joshua's followers believe the prophecy concerning the former president of Malawi, Bengua Mutarika, who died in 2012 at the age of 78 years old. False rumors spread using T.B. Joshua's names are known to have caused widespread panic in communities, affected sporting events, music concerts, and led people to stop using social media network. When Hazam Al Mustafa, the chief security officer of former Nigerian president Sani Abasha, was released after 11 years of imprisonment, his first port of call was to TB Joshua Church in acknowledgement of a prophecy the cleric allegedly gave him when Abasha was still in power. Critics argue that TB Joshua's predictions are too vague. His television channel, Emmanuel TV, was founded on 8 March 2006 by TB Joshua, where its Sunday services are broadcast live. TB Joshua's programs also air weekly on a number of local television stations across Africa. It debuted on DSTV and GoTV in November 2015, as well as Star Times in February 2016. In its profile on TB Joshua, the BBC described him as Nigerian best known tele evangelist. Emmanuel TV motto is Changing Lives, Changing Nations, Changing the World. The station is also known for its cash freeze, Distance is Not a Barrier, encouraging viewers to pray along with TB Joshua by touching the screen. There are several claims of people receiving miraculous healings through these prayers, including popular Nollywood actress Tony Tudike, who said T.B. Joshua's prayer ended her 14 years smoking addiction. T.B. Joshua earned a reputation for not focusing on the prosperity gospel, and Emmanuel TV is known as one of the few Christian channels that does not engage in fundraising on air. In April 2021, YouTube suspended Emmanuel TV channel as a result of alleged hate speech by TB Joshua in videos on the channel. At the time the channel was suspended, it had over 1.8 million subscribers and 400 million views. The allegations of hate speech refer to claims made by TB Joshua in at least seven videos that homosexuality is the result of possession by demonic spirit and that homosexuality can and should be cured via spiritual deliverance. At the time of the channel's suspension, it was most viewed Christian ministry on the platform. Google also ranked Emmanuel TV on YouTube as one of the fourth most watched video clip ever within Nigeria with almost 100 million views in just one video. TB Joshua has many critics and was known to be very controversial. He was hated by many pastors in Nigeria who are not happy with his ties of ministry and prophecy. TB Joshua was publicly condemned by several prominent pastors within Nigeria. His most vocal critics being Pastor Chris Okote who described him as a son of the devil. The Christian Association of Nigeria and Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria both acknowledge that T.B. Joshua is not a member of either organization and denounce him as an impostor. Pastor Enoch Adeboye, Bishop David Oyedeko, Pastor Ayo Osejafo, Pastor Paul Adefarasin, and Pastor Matthew Ashimolowo are among the prominent pastors who publicly denounced T.B. Joshua. T.B. Joshua was married to Evelyn Joshua and had three children with him. Unfortunately, 
T.B. Joshua died on 5th June 2021 after one of his evening services in Lagos, Nigeria, just one week to his 58th birthday. No cause of death was recorded, that is to say, nobody knows the cause of his death. According to several eyewitnesses, his death was very mysterious. However, his members believe that he's going to resurrect very soon. But let's watch and see. T.B. Joshua has been described as one of the most controversial pastors known all over the world. May his gentle soul rest in peace. Hold me close till I get out. 